G'day, Steve here, Woodworking Masterclass. Look, I'm in a heck of a pickle here. I've got rubbish everywhere, half-finished jobs, junk all over the floor. But I had a bit of a, what could you call it? Bit of a backslide the other day. I um, should have had this harp strung and I thought oh, I'll take a shortcut. So I gave it a, a spray with some lacquer and um, it didn't work. And uh, I was a bit disappointed. So I've had to go back to square one and I've got to clean all the lacquer off and uh, see if I can get things to the way it was two days ago. So I thought instead of being here in the workshop all by myself, I might as well stream it and I'd say good day to anyone that wants to drop in and say hi. Now, if things are working well and I can find my phone, I will. Oh, see if I can get the chat out so I can um, 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 have chat without having to walk over there, which is, would be a good thing. So bear with me. Oh, that's looking good. Okay, how do I get chat? Um, but, um, oh, I just got to wait for the ad to clear and then I'll be with you. I should have done this beforehand. It's stinking hot outside. Got to be close to 38 degrees, I think, so it's nice. Mike, hey, how are you? Um, I hope you got my acceptance of friend request on Facebook. And let's see how this goes. Most likely you're going to get latency and all the other rubbish. Every time I go in to talk to someone, they really don't want to know about it. But anyway, that's the way it is. So what happened was, I won't mention the brand because I don't um, I had these cheek bands on the harp all nicely polished, and I thought oh, I might spray some lacquer. Now, for years I've used a particular brand of lacquer, and for years I haven't had a problem, but I couldn't get this brand that I normally use. Um, so I went somewhere and they said, well, try this, it's just as good. Well, jewellery is out. I don't think it's just good, but I've been in touch with the company, and to their credit, They've sent me in there looking into it. Um, as I said to the guys, it's not my first rodeo. I have sprayed lacquer before and uh, we'll see what happens. But anyway, that's where we're up to. So, clean all this up. I've only got two cameras working today, this one and that one, because the other one's up in the machinery shed and on um, filming a TV show, or parts of it, and parts of it in tales making these, which, uh, I don't know, I've got a, um, yeah, these. there is a video, oh no, what I did, I've got a video that I will post in the next couple of days, showing how I made that, tuner for the harp where it's got a nice bit of knurling over it because what happened as I explained in the intro to that video is I had this harp ready to go went to string it and I found the size square drives I have in the top aren't a regular size so I was a bit stuck it looks it looks a bit cheap if you sell a harp and then you give someone an open-ended spanner or worse still an adjustable spanner so they can tune it. So I set about making um, that tuner, which was a good exercise. Got to find these tops now. G'day Vince, how are you mate? Didn't realise this was live. Well, there you go. Hang on mate, I'll pinch myself. No, it's live, it hurt. <coughs> I had this other idea. Um, because that, oh, I can get a decent shot of that. I mean, that's, I think, quite nice and shiny, but the other side, 
can tell where I sprayed it and it's not quite nice. So, uh, so we're looking into it. It could have been just a, an organic interface problem, meaning I stuffed up. Um, but we will see. And I forgot where I was going with that. So, all right. Well, what I'm doing first off is I'll clean this off. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Good day, Andy. I last stream, you coming on just as I was going off, and it wasn't until I finished the stream I saw you saying, "Oh well, I'll say goodbye then." So, hello, Andy. How are you, mate? Now, here's a case in point. This here, it's um, a big, thick felt mat. And a friend of mine, whom I have not seen for several years, I was at his place. You have to forgive the compressor. It should stop soon. But I was up at his place and he said, do you want any of that? I was, oh yeah, I'll have some. Not knowing what I'm going to use it for. Years later, it's absolutely brilliant as a nice, soft work surface. While that's going, I'll just tidy up a bit. I'm running out of space. That can stay on the floor. Oh, thank goodness for that. Okay, now I can have a chat. Hey, John, how are you? All the way from Canada. Canada is a popular place. I was talking to a friend of mine today. She's off to Canada tomorrow. Um, then I was talking to someone the other day and he was in Canada and he's just come out to Australia. So, and and uh, my friend's going over and she's all excited because she's going to have a, a white Christmas. So there you go, John. G'day, Ben. Just letting you know your shit lag. Yeah, I know. Um, not much I can do about it, mate. If we're as... Um, what, what's the word I'm looking for? If they were as, as good as at, collect, at um, delivering a service as they are in debiting my account, I wouldn't have the lank, lagging streams, but unfortunately, they don't care, they get their money, and that's all they're interested in. And we just have with it, I'm afraid. I'll show you a trick with that later on. It might work, it might not work. All right, so what I'm doing, hang on, who else we got? John, you've been in the liar. They are small. John, have you? Oh, here we go. Just, just to bring it up speed, John. Oh, dear. Uh, there you go. That's um, my copy of the Suffolk Liar. So it's out of tune and everything else. But yeah, I, I thought I'd give that a go. I might go back in the morning later on just for fun. But uh, for me, I don't know. I think the harps do it because it's got more work in it. I'm just a glutton for punishment. What can I tell you? Oh, dear. You stay as long as you like sleep after. Uh, can you show me to the lake? Well, I showed you that. Yep, there you go. G'day, Nathaniel. How are you, mate? Oh, this is rude, isn't it? Hello, Nathaniel. G'day, Nathaniel. How are you, mate? Uh, harp, yeah, no, I'm not going to build one of those. I've, I've seen a few of those, John, but no, not for this little black duck. Um, and the other thing, what I've decided to do 
is with this harp here, I was going to put this neck on it. Oh, not this neck, this pillar. Which is absolutely gorgeous figure in it. And then I thought, no, because this is the one that I'm burning, doing all that fancy schmancy stuff like that. Give you a look down here. There you go. Um, I didn't want to waste the figure timber on it, so I've just machined this bit up here, which has got a bit of red in it. It's New Guinea rosewood, and this has got a little bit of red in it. It should be okay. And then when I was rummaging around, I found a block. I don't know where it is now, but anyway, I found a big block of um, the bee's wing figure. So this one I'm going to completely uh, do that fracture burning through and then I'll make another one using just that figure and that will be the highlight. But what I'm doing at the moment is getting all this brass out here. I had to, oh, there we go. To polish it and I'm cleaning all the stuff left from the soap that I used and also countersinking holes because I wasn't happy there was a bit and it took a little playing around to get it right and so I'll countersink these ones I'll do that live nothing like having a go at something live if there's a chance you can stuff it up um, so yeah I've just got to finish polishing this you can see black stuff there I'm just gonna that out so for that um, I'm just using good old brasser there used to be a stuff uh, I think it was just made in there I don't know it was called Gleam and um, we loved it years and years ago when soldiers had to have shiny brass and uh, it was cotton wool impregnated polish, so you didn't have to pull your belts to bit and everything and pass over them. You could just get this cotton impregnated stuff and just rub over all your shiny bits. And it was great. So I, I tracked the company down and obviously all new staff. They didn't have a clue what I was talking about. Closest they could come up is I said, oh, have you got any wool impregnated stuff that I can polish brass with and the best I could come up with, yes, we've got wire wool that you can clean copper with. Yeah, well, in my day, that was called steel wool. But anyway, I've um, had a look at a couple of other products online, so I'll give them a, a go. Because I'm starting to think, I don't know, I might give it another go, but I'm starting the um, the polishing idea, the, the, sorry, the spraying lacquer idea is fraught with too many problems. But I could be proved wrong. I could be proved wrong. It's always nice when you're proved wrong. Andy, I have a rule at the moment. If it falls onto the floor, it stays there. Okay. <laughs> I think it was um, George Burns. He said, yeah, he said, whenever I... Bend down to pick something up. I take my time looking around to see if there's anything else I can get on the same trip. It's true. I, I suppose that's why my shed's just the way it is. But provided we're happy, that's the main thing. And I hope everybody is. Uh, nearly finished this one. G'day, Jared. Uh, Wood Aiton? Wood Aiton? Is that it? Wood Aiton? Wood Aiton? Well, good day, mate. Thanks for dropping in from West Virginia. Well, good day to you from Brisbane, Australia. Uh, good day, Brenda. How are you? Oh, I could have stopped looking down there. Good day, Brenda. How are you? 
What have you been working on lately? Any projects coming up? Um, and then we're going to add filigree to the harp. Not at this stage. Um, down the track, I might get a bit fancy. But I, I just want to start getting the principles out of the way. I am looking at adding levers, but at the moment I've got a chance to find good levers. From what I've read, the um, best ones on the market are Camax that come out of France. I do have someone in um, said they can send me some, so I've just got to look at that. Uh, and I don't know, I haven't tried any stores in Australia yet, but it does add to the cost of the harp. And you're looking $30 per lever. And even this is only a 22 string harp, extra $660 plus the cost of fitting them, so I don't know. We'll work it out. And I'm quite enjoying doing this at the moment. But I have noticed um, some harp makers, they actually specify on their websites are uh, without levers fitted. So I think that might be the way to go and then down the track if they want levers you can get levers fitted I suppose I really do like working with brass it's nice and making the brass pins I actually wrote all the steps down the other day just in case just in case one of my boys wants to get involved and the old man do this we'll go and look it up in the book Of following the, the steps I'd put down, I shortened it by two steps because I didn't need to do it all. So that that was a good thing. It won't be a long stream. Be uh, at the most I'm going to have to finish about half past one because Susie's got to go to the dentist, and I promised I would go with her. Okay, that's looking all right. Looks a lot nicer. It's a lot shinier. So this side, I've got to clean, but what I might do is I'll um, uh, countersink them. Um, yeah, it was interesting what I was doing. I was trying to countersink just using a timber countersink bit. And what that was doing was actually tearing the timber. I don't know if I've got one over there. No, I haven't. Um, but they're just a conical shaped uh, countersunk tool. And it was actually bearing, which is what I wanted it to do, but it was bringing it to the side. So when I ran the finger all in there, I had these raised edges. Whereas what I'm using here is a metal countersink bit and they come in different sizes and I do have another size somewhere but I don't know where it is there's those that one I've got in there. and then there's one between the one in the drill and this one here and what they do they actually clean it they cut it they don't sort of uh, like a wood one, it clean. Oh, hang on, who have we got here? Oh, that that'll be a that'll be a, um, what you call it? I'm sure. Excuse me, let me just get this. Who wants to talk to me? Hello. Oh, mate, can I give you a call back? I'm just doing a live stream at the moment. Oh, join me on the stream. Oh, I'll give you a ring back in about an hour. Thanks, mate. Bye. Well, there you go. Um, yeah, whereas these, they're quite different in as much as they clean the timber or the metal using this cutting edge here, and then it escapes out this end, 
and it gives you a nice smooth finish. I'll show you. Well, actually, I've done these ones on the back. And can you see I haven't done anything to those except push the countersink in. And it gives you a nice clean shoulder. Because I find, or I found, using the wooden ones, had all the rubbish and then you had to file it off, which really defeated the purpose of doing what you did in the first place. So, here we go. I'll do a couple of these and you can watch while I'm doing them. Um, we don't need that. Am I here? You can see that. I'll come in a little bit. There you go. Uh, we got that on, we got that on. All right, so I'm going to do... All these little ones and then all the big ones. So it's just slow speed and just put it in and push down. Not too hard. You get a feel for it after a while. I actually think it's gentler than using the countersink bit too. Definitely clean. Uh, you can get them from nut and bolt shops or shops. I think I actually bought these on line ages ago. And then we'll do the big ones. Well, that's interesting. That one hasn't been cleaned out yet. Or has it? I don't know. It looks as if it might have been. So I'll start from this end. And if you're going to do it, don't do what I just did. Pick the timber and put it back down because there's going to be metal filings under there. And that's going to mark your job. Play the game. So there we go. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a fair bit of brass comes out on each one. So we'll clean that up. And I got out of the, and it's a bad of cleaning everything off using air. I discovered that on the lathe. You really have to have full face protection or you end up with the swarf in your eye and your hair and all over the place. I'll brush that down. Then I can blow it off and it will be okay. So what I'm going to do with this is clean that off a bit. For that, I'm going to use a bit of steel wool and a bit of turps and oh where did me where did my chat go? I've I've lost my chat. Here we go. Want that? Ah, oh, come on! Just around 
doesn't want to work yet. All of a sudden, all my chat's gone. What's what is going on? Oh, hang on. Wait a minute. Something here. I'll put that there. And do that. <laughs> How do I get chat back on my phone? Oh, here we go. I found it. I found it. Okay. All right. Where did we get up to? Filigree. Um, yeah, I'm, I'll do some cards, I'm not on these ones. John, getting back to your earlier question. I'll do wood carving, um, but not filigree wood on the metal. What have we got? Brenda, never dull, was what I used to use a lot when I was... <laughs> that was it, never dull. Do they all make it, Brenda? The stuff we had was called Gleam. I'll have to check that out. But I suppose people don't like uh, polishing brass anymore. When you go back a few years, you could, you know, some copper and that. People wanted them coppers out of the old uh, washing coppers. Oh, they were in great demand to go next to your fireplace to put, put all your firewood in. And we used to clean those with lemon and vinegar. No, hang on. Lemon juice and salt, that was it. Lemon juice and salt. But there you go, I'm starting to date myself, aren't I? Uh, Louise, hi, how are you? Is Andrew back yet or is he gone again? Nylon guttle synthetic. Um, on this particular harp, I'm using um, nylon strings. I'm doing um, a carp, which is a, oh, I've forgotten what they're called. They've got a special name. But for that, that one, I'm using brass, bronze and metal strings. And that's the one that sort of got me going, and that's the one I really want to get into. But then the opportunity came up to make these uh, folk harps. So I thought, oh, I'll do that. But... Yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting back to the um, Kelty harp, which is uh, Brian Moore harp, um, Queen Mary harp, and there's another one. And the, the Brian Brewer harp goes back to the 10th century. And it's just gorgeous. It's just got so much detail and brass work. That one's got a lot of carving in it. So I don't know if I'll be following the carving the way it's done or I'll might have a crack at doing um, the carving the way they did it first off and then might have a go at my own interpretation of it. Um, do you need the lack of the bra? Well that was what caused all the problem uh, Vince. I, I lacked it and it wasn't the lacquer that I normally use and it didn't go so well. That's why I'm rubbing it all off again now. So I'm sort of wondering if I want to bother lacquering, lacquering it or not. I think I might still have to go up to the um, mops and put some brass soap on this and really get it up and running again because it'll take all the fine scraps out that the steel wool's just left. Uh, I'm just brass goes. I, I did give it a bit of a hit on the other side with some 2000 wet and dry. Which I might still, might still do to this side. Actually, I might now as we speak. Actually, I might try it with a bit of brass. So, there you go. We'll see what happens. Uh, so, this is 2000 wet and dry. dry for a bit. <clears throat> yeah, 
Yeah, I, they're, they're a great idea, Andy. I, I like them. I think they're uh, they're much friendlier than the old-fashioned conical shape ones. Nah, that's got to go. That's got to go. I don't know if you can see it there, but it's got very fine scratches in it. So that means that's going to go back up to the top shed and I'll buff it along with these screws and this so then I can put that on and then then I'm going to string it and I really don't care. A friend of mine gave me a just before I went on air um, a product she said it's good an anti-tarnish thing so Look, I don't know if people might want to stay sharp, stay shiny or, or not. I don't know. Individual choices. He's back today, Andrew. Uh, lemon juice baking soda. Yep, that's not a bad method either, John. I saw another one, uh, lemon juice, flour and vinegar, I think it was. And you make a paste. Yeah, you still make never dull. Use to use Kool-Aid to clean the brush. Kool-Aid! Imagine what it does to your insides. Great stuff. All right. Um, now, what can I do? I've done that, I've done that, I've done that. I might even, might even, might even, might even. I might ring these out. So I haven't put the copper on this yet. Um... I can't run out. I can make this bit to fit. I could do that. And oh, I'll have to drill that, but that's in the next room, so you can't see that. I'll work out something to do in a minute. Um, got to do that. Okay, I can do that. I've got to cut the neck, oh sorry, the pillar for this neck, so we can do that. Oh dear. Whoop. That goes there, that goes there. I cut the other one to the same size, so this should this should work out okay. All right. So I'm going to cut that to that. For that, I'm going to go over to the um, other saw over there. I haven't got a mobile, oh, have I? Oh, yes, yeah, sort of. I haven't really got a mobile camera. I'll spin this one around. Once, once I get the floor tidy again, it'll be good. Or I want to use that one there. So this is going to be at a slight angle, which can be problematic, but I found if you can get the angle of the saw right first and then use the clamp to hold it in place, you generally can get away with it. I'm just going to See how we're looking here.
This is a bit, a bit by eye, I think. Oh, I think it's going to be pretty close. I always cut that off too early because it's got to stay on for a bit because there's an electric brake on the saw. Okay. So that looks pretty darn good. Bring this around here so you can see. And there you have it. So that slots up into there and that's for my money a good joint there if you can get it in there there you go so what i've got for that is a half inch dowel that I turned up and i shall later on drill into here with a half inch drill bit and drill into here put it together, clamp it, leave it overnight, then I can get back in and start working. So I want to put that fracture, fracture burning all over this as well. And it's got to have some router work. I'm thinking I'll glue it up first, sand it all down, cut all the brass, won't inlay it, then I'll fracture burn the whole lot, then stain it. Oh, that's what I was going to show you then stain it and then it should be ready to go. I've got to change this bit here. So it looks like this bit. If you can see the two of Okay, that bit there. See, it's got a hole in there and on an angle, that's got to be done the same. And again, what I'll do next door on the drill press, so you can't really see anything. If I was OBSing, it had to be good because I've got all the cameras set up for OBS, but for whatever reason, it just will not stream for me with what we're doing. Um, what else can I do? Mohawk brass lacquer. Next. <laughs> Tell you a funny story about Grandfather Clock. Friend, friend of mine, he uh, he was going to make a grandfather clock out of his coffin, so it could be in so it could be in the hallway. But when he took the clock mechanism out, put a solid panel in where the glass door was, and that was it. But his wife wouldn't let him. She said it was too macabre. So. Oh, a neck of another heart that I'm doing. This is more one. That's the, you can tell the difference between the two. And this is the one I really want to get into. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. All right. Oh, okay. This, this is, an, I don't know if this is going to work. We'll give it a go. I like the finish Brasso gives you when you've lacquered timber. So I don't know if this is going to work. I know it does. I know it does work. I don't know if it's going to work. If you have a look at that, it's pretty dead flat. That's got two coats. And, and we Brasso it. I want to get a nice sort of sheen out of it, so half of it. I would prefer a few more coats of lacquer to build it up so I can polish it, but gee, it comes up nice when it's done properly. Not as good as 
You can, I don't know if you can see that's got a bit of a sheen and that's dull. But that's the process I want to use on that harp that I'm turning at present to see how it's going to look. Oh, okay. That's done, that's done, that's done, that's done. No, I think that's just about all I can do. Anyone got any questions, you want to demonstrate anything or whatever, I'm happy to do that. Weird. Um, what else have I got? Um, I think, honestly, that is about it. I can put this together so you can see, or you might be sick of looking. This is what it's going to look like when it's all finished. See, I actually got a, a string in there ready to do some stringing and then I realised that the tuner wouldn't work. So that's why I had to go and make that tuner. But this goes on here. This goes on. There will be a screw that goes in the bottom but uh, basically the, the strength of the strings pulling down on the will hold everything in place and then it's a question of once it's all put together and strung and I'll use this onto that to tension it. So all in all it's going to look pretty good. Oh Well, that's about it, I think. I can't think of anything else. And it's not 10 past one, so I'd better go up and see how Susie's going, because I know she doesn't like the dentist, so we've got to go. Hold her hand, as it were, which is fine, because she does the same for me, because I don't like the dentist anyway. Uh, hopefully I'll have some more um, fun stuff for you to do, but I just thought, see, and I had to do that. I might as well stream and say good day to everyone. Um, appreciate your, your patronage and your support. New to the channel and you'd like to subscribe, please hit the subscribe button. Everything helps. If you've got any queries or questions, just send me a text or you can email me at woodworkingmasterclass at gmail.com. No, hang on. G email me at woodworkingmasterclass at gmail.com. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. So there you go. I think that's it. So short and sweet, this is Steve pulling the shed door down saying thanks for your support. Really enjoy having your company and make my day a heck of a lot easier. And I'm just going to remind you to keep it sharp. But more importantly, keep it safe. Look after yourself. Be kind to each other. And I look forward to having your company in the workshop, at a workbench, again, very, very soon. Till then, good night, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, God bless. Catch you all later. Bye for now.